It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. Got a little tool for you this week. Probably not gonna be a tool that you, that everybody's gonna use widely. Widely, right? But sometimes on this channel, what I like to do is just bring you tools to kind of stimulate the brain, educate, educate you on what is available, what's out there, what it does, how things are done, right? Like how it's made, how it's made, the Fab Farms version of how it's made. I don't know. So that's kind of the deal with this week's tool. This week's tool, something that you may or may not need. Uh, the thing that's cool about it is I'm gonna show it to you, show you how it works. And then one day in the future, when you need to do something like, oh yeah, I remember how that's done. I've seen that tool. I understand what I need. I understand how to do the job. And that is the hog ring pliers. Now, for anybody that's done any kind of upholstery uh, or just live out in the country and maybe have a farm, I don't know. You probably know what hog ring pliers are. I'm about to show you if you don't. So I've got these bad boys left over from when I was working on the C10. Um, hog ring pliers are widely used when doing upholstery, mainly upholstery around automotive seats and such. Uh, a lot of times the way you attach the fabric to the seat itself, especially in the older vehicles, is through these little hog rings. Doesn't really look like a ring, does it? Doesn't really look like a ring, but that's what they call them, hog rings. And so the way these little bad boys work, I will tell you, if you're like a nurse or a doctor or something, uh, these probably look pretty, pretty uh, similar to something that you would, you know, s staple something shut with. So it's just got this little triangle piece thing they call a hog ring. It goes in these pliers. These pliers got a little spring on them. On the back side here, you can see. And what it does is, it instead of it holding the pliers open, it actually holds them closed slightly, which will allow you to kind of stick one of those hog rings in there and it won't fall out. And then the idea is that you can take these two points and you kind of stick them through some fabric or stick one of them through some fabric and then wrap the other one around one of the uh, wires for the spring on the seat. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, a lot of older vehicles, the seats themselves aren't made of just foam. They have this wire frame construction and that's how you attach the fabric to the seat itself. You kind of stretch it over. You poke this through the fabric. The fabric itself tends to have some kind of uh, robust hem on the edge so it doesn't tear so you kind of poke this through and then you wrap around the wire and you give it a squeeze and it makes this little triangle piece it's what they call a hog ring so you see how that works so anyway hog ring pliers uh, I think, if I had to guess, these things probably got their name from uh, being used in the field to attach, like, fencing together. Makes sense to me, hog ring, you gotta make it a hog fence, you gotta attach the, you know, whatever. So anyway, pretty simple. You can buy these things in, in a kit. Now, I will tell you this, when I was working on Caliente, redoing the interior on that thing, when I bought the new seat cover piece, it came with some hog ring pliers and hog rings, or it said it did. What I got was nothing you'd want to mess with. It was awful, which is why I bought these. You see this nice little ring? Turned out 
nice and clean, good little piece, easy to do. The ones they send with it are junk, they don't work. It's, you're just gonna fight it. So, you can buy a little kit like this, comes with a bunch of hog rings, with the hog ring pliers, and you know, I think it was like under 20 bucks or something, it was super cheap. I'll give you another little demonstration. So that ring just goes in there. Like so. If you look too this way, you can kind of see maybe that the the ring piece itself is kind of offset slightly. So when you do squeeze it, they don't touch each other. They kind of, uh, yeah, kind of offset overlap. So anyway, there you go. If you got an old car, you want to redo the upholstery, it's actually really easy. A lot of the kits you buy now, all the stuff's already sewn together and done. You just kind of stretch that thing over the frame, some hog rings, kind of clip that thing on there and you're good to go. If you don't know, now you know. This week's tool, hog ring pliers, used for automotive upholstery or making a hog fence. All right guys, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Got the camshaft for the bibster, gonna put the whole engine assembly back together and get that thing wired up and fired up. Anyway, it's Friday, fool.